this studio tour part two? Always. Am I filming? You just edit all together. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, so that's that. What else do we have? Okay. Constant maneuverability. If I move this, we've got... Oh, yes, yes, apparently I'm being asked to, to showcase the cartridge. <laughs> Um, cartridges. Oh, the rollers, yes. Yes, of course, the rollers. So, yeah, one, two, three rollers. This is a good little one. Teach your children a lot. That one, that's my mainstay. And then I've got the nice, nice big roller here, which is a beautiful, beautiful spindle roller. They're all from Hawthorne Printing Supplies. There's a um, one to look at. They're beautiful rollers. Um, I'll just need to move the radio back. There we go. What else? Storage under there, cupboards, um, several cupboards, four cupboards which store ink and pigments. I can open those up and you can just have a quick peek at inks and pigments in that one. What else? Uh, drying boards at the back, children's artwork on the walls, very important. A very functional, functionable, if that's the word, neat studio, which seems to fit more than is actually possible. Um, and the rest of our kitchen, as you can see, it is literally in our kitchen. So, kitchen door, and then kitchen table, compost bin, essential, um, and ooh, the wood burning stove that heats our hot water. Um, and our house and cooks for us. Oh, oh, hang on, you gotta gotta zoom in on the wide cheap heart poster. Where's that? Wide cheap heart poster is with the tea station, obviously. Every art studio has a tea station. Oh, it's a tea and water station, essential. Where's the art poster? The art poster. So I was just, I was just posing on my press. Um, yeah, here we go. The most essential words probably ever written about the reason I'm an artist and why the world needs to create more. And probably actually reading it now more poignant in these times as well. Um courtesy of the wonderful puppet com company, um, the Bread and Puppet Theatre in Vermont, which I had the amazing um, opportunity to go and see and see their museum, which was absolutely breathtaking and phenomenal. And that is probably the reason I still do what I do every day. So yeah, that is the, um, the Kitchen Art Studio, from where the podcast will be made from now on. Thank you. <laughs>